Hello, welcome back to Station Ears. I'm Mick and today we're not playing Station Ears. Today we're going to be talking a bit about editing custom all maps. Now there are many, many mods on the workshop that you can just download and they will modify your standard all map. Now that is the default all map which you can modify and it works in most of your save games there. But you do have certain instances like Vulcan or Venus which have custom all maps. Now they are the ones which are going to give you troubles there because the custom all maps will override the standard one. So you may find that any of the all mods you've downloaded now no longer work. Uh, but there is a way around that. So you can then just go in and edit the save game, edit the, uh, the uh, map, the all override and you can retain, change all the yields from your mining. So we'll have a look at how to do that one there. It's pretty easy to do, so don't be afraid of it. Um, so first thing to do is you go into a, into a new game and you save it. So my first advice would be try this out on an empty save game, not one that you've invested a lot of time into. Uh, if you, of course, if you are doing it on a game you have used before or spent a bit of time on, make a backup before you do it. Right, so go into a new game, immediately save and quit out of it. Now if you go to your My Documents folder, you will find a file called My Saves, in that you'll find Station Ears, uh, Saves, and then you'll find a list of all of your save games there. Just pick the one that you've just recently saved, and you will find an XML file called uh, World Settings. Now you can just use Notepad to edit the file, it's just an XML file format, if you're, if you're familiar with that at all. It is just a text-based file with a heap of values saved in there under certain, just enclosed in cer certain groups to do to do whatever it wants. Now, we're just searching for our mineables. Uh, instead of going through the whole lot, it's a reasonably long file there. We just say find, just one of your mineables there. I'll just put in copper. Find next, boop, straight to it. And we find we're now down in our mineable data. Uh, this is the only place you'll find it. I think it is right at the end of the file. Yes, it is. Um, but here we are. So we find the, the XML file is just a series of values in between an opening and closing brackets for our, um, our property. So it is fairly intuitive to read. Don't be too fussed about any technicalities but we find we are in a section called Mineables Override. So this is the section that overrides our, our standard default all map. And each one of them is a mineable data. So in each one of these mineable datas, we have a different type of materials. We've got our iron, ice, oxide, volatiles, gold, coal, etc., etc. Now each one of these has certain properties there. Um, visualizers, which is just the, just the way it shows up in the game. Um, but the ones we are interested in are the rarity, the drop quantity, and the vein size. Now we find that the rarity is the number of deposits you'll find. So the higher the number, the more deposits you'll find. So if you want to find lots and lots of deposits of it, just raise that number. Uh, from each rock you get will be controlled by this one here, the drop quantity. So, so when we're mining iron, for each rock you pick up, you'll get between 12 and 6 uh, ore from each one. If you raise that up higher, you'll get more from each one. You see the 50 times ore mod there, we'll just have that changed to 50 and 50. So you'll always get 50 from each one. Um, and your vein size, just one. If you increase that, you'll find you get more rocks in each deposit there. But generally, I just put down more deposits if you want more of them there. But, but generally, I, f I find that the, the quantity of them is all, all right there. You know, I've play, playing a game for a while, I find I generally have a heap of silver left that I'm not using. I'll have a heap of like lead and a heap of nickel and a heap of things like that that I'm not using. So. I generally just increase the drop quantity of the uh, common ores, which are your iron, copper, silicon, gold, 
they're the ones I usually do. Just I just leave the other ones alone, but you know, each each to your own on that one there. But uh, that's what I've done in my game. I just changed the common ores, just doubled the drop quantity on the common ores, and left the rest alone. But it's very easy to do once you know what you're looking for. Just set it to your own preferences there. Uh, make it as easy as difficult you like. And of course, once you've edited, just save this file and go back into your game and all the changes should be immediately active. Uh, but that's it. It's about a quickie for today. So until next time, happy building. See ya.